Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my favorites of the entire year of 2013. All of the beauty favorites that I feel like are definitely worth mentioning that are things that I've loved all year long or things maybe I didn't have all year long but I think are some of my best finds of the year even if I did find them closer to the end of the year. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to mention is the um, Emphasize Powder from MAC Pro. This is the MAC Pro Sculpting Powder. Um, I've used a lot of it. I've, I don't know if you can, guys can see that, but I'm probably going to hit pan soon on this. This stuff is so amazing for setting the under eyes. I got it and then I wasn't too sure how I felt about it, but then I really started using it a lot and it's amazing. So great, makes your under eyes so bright. And this is what I use to highlight a lot. So I put it under my eyes, as well as a little on my chin, my nose, and my forehead. So that's why I always look really sort of highlighted and contoured is definitely because of this stuff. It is so, so good, you guys. Um, definitely not gonna be good for darker skin tones because it'll look really ashy, but I know they do have some different shades of this so I'm sure you'll be able to find one oops that um, works for your skin tone next is another face product and you guys have seen this a billion times it is the Estee Lauder illuminating powder jelly in the color heat wave I've used this so much in so many different tutorials it's so so amazing and I'm not even close to hitting pan on this thing and I use it probably almost every day that I wear makeup um, it's just such a beautiful gold color. They come out with these powder jelly things probably once a year, I think, around um, summertime. They'll come out with these in their summer collection. And um, this has my, been my favorite one so far that they've made. I would keep your eye out if you didn't get this that, you know, probably in like April or so, they'll come out with their summer collection. And I'm sure they're going to have another one of these out that, at that time. Next is a mascara. I am wearing it today. It's definitely become one of my favorites of all time, and it's the MAC In Extreme Dimension Mascara. This is the 3D black one. Um, it's just a really, really good mascara to give you so much volume and length, but I don't find that it's clumpy at all. And it is like super duper black. So it's really, really, really great at making your eyelashes really stand out. Um, so yeah, this is great stuff. If you want that volume, no clumps, you'll love this. Speaking of eyelashes, these I did get towards the end of the year. I got these in November, but still I have to consider these probably one of my favorite items of 2013, and that is the House of Lashes eyelashes in the Noir Fairy style. So if it would focus, they're kind of like um, thick and spiky. They're so beautiful. They're a little harder to apply, like I've said before in videos where I've used them, but once you get the hang of it, they're so pretty. They look beautiful, and they last really long. I got three pairs, and I've, I'm have i still only on my first pair, using my first pair, and I've worn them probably close to 20 times, and um, they are still completely fine and I could probably still wear them for another 10 times or so so they last really long and I believe they're only $16 uh, a pack so that's a really good deal for eyelashes that are going to last you like 20 to 30 wears. Next is a newer item I didn't get until December but I have to say this is again another one of those things that has definitely been a favorite of mine if I could compare it to a lot of things I've used throughout the year um, and that is the Rihanna um, Fresh Out Velux Pearl Fusion Palette. This palette is so versatile and so pigmented, so beautiful, so smooth. Um, these shades here at the top in particular, or the bottom, whichever way you're looking, those are my favorites, especially this darkest one. These are just absolutely great quality, great um, pigmentation. Everything about them is good, and I love... I, I just love the colors. They're so pretty. Um, I was mistaken. This is still available. It's the Rihanna Fall Collection that we aren't allowed to sell anymore. But this winter collection um, is still available. So I would go see if you can find one of these because you will not regret it. These colors are great. Next is going to be the e.l.f. Brow Kit, Eyebrow Kit. I have the color medium, but it does come in, I think, light, medium, or dark, or ash, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is the one I like to use personally. So it comes with a wax and a powder. I only use the wax. I feel like a lot of people who have this only use the wax. Um, probably because the wax is so good. It's sticky. 
but not too sticky. It's got good color payoff, but not too much, which is also great because then the eyebrows don't look like blocks, you know, on your eye. Um, and it stays all day. I mean, I wouldn't rub it. It would probably smear if I rubbed it, but I've trained myself not to touch my face at this point. So yeah, but it's really, really, really good. And it's only $3. I mean, I've been using this for like two months or so probably and I mean I just hit pan like three days ago so it's really really good stuff I love it so much and I did first hear about this from ShanXO um, and I'm so glad I did because it's just awesome alright next is gonna be another more recent purchase I got these as well towards the end of November and it is the Sedona Lace Lux Essentials brush kit this has to be one of my favorite brush purchases ever, probably. Um, I believe this cost me like $40 or so um, with a discount I had. And I do have my own coupon code, which I did use uh, my own coupon code for my order. And um, yeah, these are just so good. Absolutely so soft. This is my favorite brush to use that emphasize powder under my eyes. It works amazing. This is great for powdering the face and these are awesome eye brushes. This is probably my favorite blending brush aside from the 217 that I've ever used. Um, it's just awesome. I love this set so much. Definitely worth the price for these brushes for sure. And I will include my coupon code. I'm pretty sure it still works. So you can get save a couple dollars if you um, order from them as well. But yeah, it's so good. I really, really, really love this. And yes, I did buy this with my own money. Next honorable mention are these bad boys right here. All of the Jordana liners. Um, whether it is the lip liner or the eyeliners, um, the formula is incredible. Um, you guys have seen me use these a lot in tutorials and I've talked about them a lot recently. They're just so waterproof, so long wearing, lip or eye, whichever one you're using. They're all really fantastic quality and um, the longevity is amazing on these guys. They're only $1.99 which is amazing to me I think because it there's such a good product for such a good price. It's crazy when you think of the price some companies charge for things that don't work as good as something that costs $1.99, you know what I mean? So yeah, these are really, really good. I have a plethora of colors um, and they all work the same and they're all amazing. All right guys, so this is my final product and probably close to being the favorite product I have found and bought a lot of and used all year long. Um, this is one of the, honestly, my favorite things ever and they are my MAC pressed pigments. I think MAC really hit the nail on the head with this formula because it has got to be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Such a perfect mix of glitter and color payoff in all of these. It's crazy. So shiny. I love shimmery, metallic, um, glittery things. If you don't, you will hate these so much. But they're so beautiful. Here's one right here. This one's called Moth. They're so pretty and they come in like a million different colors. Like I have ones ranging from like black ones, brown ones, light brown ones. There's silver ones, purple, green, blue, like everything. I have so many different ones and I love them all equally. Like they're all amazing. If I had to say I had maybe a couple favorite ones, let me see. It would, my favorite ones out of all of them would have to be moth, which is like a um, sort of light lavender, very muted kind of lavender, silver, taupe, I don't know, kind of color. It's really beautiful. Next would be Deeply Dashing, which is a darker brown color, if it would focus. It's a darker brown color. Again, really, really pretty and um, makes a good smoky eye. And probably my favorite one is um, Jet Couture. It is a blackened charcoal kind of color, really dark. Um, this makes a really beautiful smoky eye. If you put that all over your eyelid, do you see how amazing that is? It's so pretty and it swatches just like it goes in the eye, really pigmented. And like I've said it before, I'm kind of beating a dead horse, but you really need to get the 215 brush that they recommend with these because it makes them go on so much more stronger and so beautiful. 
All right, guys, so that is it for my favorites of 2013. Like I said, it wasn't too much. I definitely did only pick the things that I really thought were spot on and absolute must-haves for me this last year. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and helping my channel grow. I appreciate it so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.